Hi guys, we're going to be talking about equipment that we give our sitters that are employees today. And I have a lot of stuff to go over, so we're going to talk fast. As a reminder, my name is Amber Van Denzen, owner and founder of Attaboy Animal Care, located in Central Florida, veterinary technician of 13 years, certified professional pet sitter, and a degree in animal sciences. But let's get this show on the road. So first and foremost, let's dive right in. If you have independent contractors, you're legally not allowed to provide them supplies because they are their own business. So if you are, you're breaking the law. There, I said it. If you have employees, you're legally required to provide them supplies because they shouldn't be having to pay for resources that are required to keep them safe and complete their job successfully. So this usually costs between $50 to $75 approximately depending on what area that you live in and what supplies may be needed and also your personal preferences of types of supplies. So first and foremost, let's talk about bags that we may provide our sitters. I'm gonna show four main categories of bags and which ones you may choose and why. First and foremost is we have our water bladder backpack. These are great because they're really well taken care of. They're meant for rigid, or like rugged camp hiking and camping. They have access to a very large quantity of water for them and any animal that they may be walking. They usually have a front chest clip. They can hold plenty of other supplies as well. Downside, they go on the back, obviously. So if you have any logos on the back of your shirts, they're gonna be hidden. And two, they get a little heavy. And three, their cost initially is a little high. Also, if you have to replace the bladders because if they bust or someone doesn't take care of them or you get a new employee, that cost can be a little bit higher as well. Your next type of backpack is a sling type backpack. It's a one shoulder bag. Um, they work really well. These are one of our most popular options for our sitters. Downside again is they may hide the logo on the back of the shirt that you may have. Um, they have a tendency of falling off when they're leaning over to pick up certain supplies that the dogs left on the ground. They hold plenty of space, they hold a water bottle, so definitely a great option overall. Your next option is a traditional backpack, either in a small or regular size. Easy to find, holds a ton of stuff, gets heavy, can fall off, does hold a water bottle. Easy to find the colors of your company though, and especially can get them on clearance at the end of year school sales. So definitely a viable option. And last but not least is your traditional fanny pack type situation. Um, oh, mine fell. Here we go. Bright fun colors, goes around the hip. A Little bit harder for certain body types if they're a little bit larger, but there are extension options. Carries just the bare minimum of supplies, so they would probably have another container in their car for extras and such but this definitely gets the job done doesn't fall off my personal favorite for when i'm walking dogs um, but then having a bag of extra supplies in my car as well now let's talk about the supplies that we can put in our bags based off of again your preference and location we live in central florida so we don't deal with snow we don't deal with snow thank goodness but if you did you may want to add certain things on like beanies or I think there's things that go on your shoes. Some people purchase tire things like chains, I guess. Look at my naivety of living in Florida. But if you live in those weather climates, feel free to post below on what your things are. You definitely provide your sitters in those areas. But first and foremost, you need to always provide them a leash. Yes, you may be using client's leashes, of course, but these are emergency backup leashes or the client doesn't abide by your policies of what type of leash that you will walk on. Yes, that is a policy that you should have. Let's talk more about that in another video. Um, we personally provide lupine leashes made in USA, New Hampshire, small mom and bo uh, pop. No, we're not sponsored, but we love lupine so much. So much. These leashes are of a canvas fabric material, soft lead, hard metal grip. This guy, these leashes are wonderful because they are guaranteed 100% replaced, even if chewed, cut, etc. And these leashes are impeccable. I've had this leash, you won't believe me when I tell you this, except for the little fraying right here, which doesn't affect the quality or the strength of it. 13 years. This leash is 13 years old. And it got replaced once a couple years in, so I take that back. Sorry, this is this leash is 11 years old. The first leash got chewed by a dog, ripped in half completely. I mailed it to them for a couple dollars, and they made me a brand new one right back. No questions asked. I mean, mm, lupine. But any leash will do. You can get Dollar Tree ones if you need to, because, I mean, ultimately, if it's a leash, it can be always turned into 
a slip leash and get the job done because if their leashes break, you always need a leash. The next thing you need are first aid kits, both for the human and the pet. Now when looking, I tried to find all the pre-made ones and I just hated them honestly, or they were too bulky or they didn't have exactly what I needed. So ultimately I did get a cheap one from the Dollar Tree, it was a dollar, now a dollar 25, thanks Dollar Tree. It has tweezers, it has scissors, it has a little knife, it has safety pins, it has band-aids, it has, I think some ointment in there as well. The pet one, again, there's a couple of companies that make them. They were way too bulky or they had either too much supplies or the ones I didn't specifically want as a vet tech. So I did create our own by buying bulk supplies, bought these red because, you know, first aid red things at the Dollar Tree. They're very compact. They can even fit in the fanny pack very easily still when floraled up. But we have some um, nonstick pads amongst other things in here that we will make another video on but these cost us less than ten dollars ultimately first aid for humans and pets of course with ever loving times we require face masks and sanitizer disposable fabric whatever floats your boat um next we do collapsible bowls uh for water specifically and of course poop bag and poop bag holders plus extras for that we always provide a carabiner that is a twist lock one specifically because i can't tell you how many times this carabiner has come in handy for one too many things especially locking up cages that break so or having to hold sets of things that you need to hold on to or creating two leashes into one the list can go on um next thing is really cheap really disgusting really smelly treats these are great for if a dog does escape or a cat technically too but you can rip this baby open in a case of emergency and try to get all the treats to them as possible to get them back in your hands i always tell my staff that hopefully these expire before we have to use them and so far that's been the case so Whew, thank goodness. Um, next we have our, you know, pen and paper. These were supplied by PSI at a conference years ago. We give these to our sitters if we have any. Thank you cards that can be branded or generic. Got these from Target for a dollar. Uh, we provide them lock boxes because all our staff, our clients are required to do coded doors, coded garages, or lock boxes. These are our favorites. Master lock, push your button, set your own combos with a cover because weather, all of our staff have these in case something breaks on one or they need to leave a key in a safer place because there's been some sketchy shit going on. I said it, yeah. <laughs> and of course you have to provide them their uniform. That can be a t-shirt from a local company or online. We also had patches made for less than a couple of dollars and then they can use their own shirts of their choice and have these glued on or sewn on. We like these a lot better better than long-term shirts because again different body types we want to make sure they're comfortable as well and last but not least we provide treat baggies to our clients cat and dog versions sometimes these are sponsored by local businesses um, sometimes they're just ours usually treats toothbrushes poop bags cat toys anything of that variety we mix it up we have a stash of them all the sitters get and they put them in a safe area we even have dietary different ones based off of their dietary needs as well. So with that said, we have a backpack, first aid kits, sanitation, safety stuff. We have tools of the trade, of course, poop bags and things. We have our paper products because if we need to leave notes or thank you cards, we have our uniform, of course. We have our treats for emergency and for fun. Um, we have our carabiner, our other tool. Of course, all of our sitters get marketing supplies of magnets and brochures. We have our leashes, which, you know, choose your character on choice of those. We use lupine. And last but not least, we do have sitters have certain tools that are for bears that can be found on Amazon for their safety and hopefully they never have to use them. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. I look forward to talking to you soon. Again, these supplies cost 50 to $75 approximately, company owned. If you do have any questions, what's your favorite product to put in your employee's stash? Let us know. And as always, we always say, ready, ready, ready? Happy pets, happy people, bye. <laughs>